Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first episode of our League of Legends series. In this series, we'll be going from basic gameplay mechanics to the micro and macro play, and what's in the current meta. This episode will be predominantly aimed at newer players, and we'll be going over some simple concepts and ideas, and throughout the series we'll be building on these to go towards the more complex moves and ideas later on. So without further ado, let's kick off some basics with the overall gameplay. League of Legends is often known and referred to as a MOBA, which is an online battle arena, which sort of fits into the strategy game genre, in which you can show a hero out of a group of five. Your main objective is to get to the other enemy team's nexus. The only way to do this is by killing mini waves and destroying towers in order to push the enemy team back to their nexus and destroy it in order to win the game. So let's start off with the laning roles. You have top, mid, ADC slash bot, support, and then we also have jungle. It's not really a lane, but we'll discuss that later on. So let's talk about the laning roles first and what attributes each character has and why they're played in certain lanes. Note, this is going to be very light touch because we're going to do a video that will discuss each role in the game later on, so don't worry. Top, also known as the Lone Wolf. If you enjoy operating alone instead of spending most of your time with your team and are a combat enthusiast who especially enjoys one-on-one -on -one sort of dueling, this is the sort of role for you. The archetypes are tank, duelist, and ranged. Jungle, also known as the Maestro. If you enjoy being a strategy person that kind of enjoys looking at the bigger picture and working on through that and getting key objectives in order to push your team in order to win, this may be the role for you. They are also known as Initiators, Snowballers, and Farmers. Mid, the Do-It-All. Are you a jack of all trades? Do you like doing a little bit of everything? Can you easily execute spell combos without missing a beat? Are you a team player who also enjoys solo play? If so, this role might be for you. The sorts of archetypes are Assassins, Control Majors, and Roamers. ADC, also known as the Firepower or Carry. Do you enjoy being protected by your teammates rather than being the protector? Do you enjoy properly doing DPS from afar? If so, and you also enjoy farming, this may be the role for you. There are certain archetypes for this as well. There are Hyper Carries, Lane Bullies, and Engaging Utility Characters. Support, also known as the Lifeblood and the Glue. If you enjoy laning aspects of League of Legends but don't want to have to worry about farming and work along with others to ensure victory, this may be the role for you. The archetypes and playstyles for this are Enchanters, Tanks and Mages. With over a roster of 149 characters, you have a lot to choose from and that may tickle your fancy. I would suggest looking at characters you like the look of, but also please be aware that some heroes are more difficult to manage than others. There are some components like items, skins, and other things to make yourself look cool, but at the moment we just want to give you an idea of what the game has to offer as a whole. If you have any further questions, please feel free to look below and subscribe to the channel, as we'll be looking at posting videos frequently in order to teach you more about the mechanics of League of Legends. Also, if you do follow Twitch, please follow me at losthope underscore TV, where I'll be playing League, and I'll be helping you guys with frequently asked questions as I play games. I hope to see you at the Rift, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.